My name is Marshall Curry, and I am the director of A Night at the Garden, a short documentary that's been nominated for an Academy Award. The film is about a rally that took place in New York, in Madison Square Garden in 1939, when 20,000 Americans gathered for a Nazi rally. The whole film is made of archival footage. Uh, there's no voiceover, there are no interviews. It sort of parachutes the, the viewer into this rally and, and without explanation. And when you first arrive, you see people protesting outside, maybe not so sure what, what's going on. The marquee outside describes it as a pro-America rally. And then we go inside, you see people marching in with American flags, and there's a huge 30-foot portrait of George Washington. But then you start to look a little closer and you realize that there are swastikas on either side of him and that, that the people are holding flags that have swastikas and, and they start to do the Nazi salute. Um, and you discover that, that this rally is sort of using the icons of American patriotism to sell anti-Semitism and hate. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Americans, American patriots. The rally was organized by a group called the, the Bund, which was sort of the American Nazi party at that point. They shared a Nazi ideology of anti-Semitism, not wanting Jews to, to have positions of power. Uh, the leader talks uh, during the rally about the importance of taking America back from the Jews who were destroying it. What we are actively fighting for under our charter, first, a social, just, white, gentile, ruled United States. Second, gentile controlled labor union, free from Jewish Moscow directed domination. During the rally, uh, a protester runs out on stage, and he is a, is a man named Isidore Greenbaum, who was a 20 something year old plumber's assistant from Brooklyn, Jewish, who came to the rally that night just to kind of check it out and was so moved and outraged by what he was seeing on stage that he ran out on stage. You see him grabbed by the forces of the American Nazis who were on the stage and they beat him and, and rip his pants off and throw him off the stage and it's a really brutal and sort of frightening moment. It sort of triggers this mob mentality that that allows them to laugh and cheer as somebody gets beaten up and as somebody speaks, you know, hatred towards a group of people that are going to be murdered by the millions in the next couple of years. You know that if there's a rally where 20,000 people show up that there are many, many thousands of people beyond that who didn't come out that night but share the philosophy. And I think America in the 1930s, uh, anti-Semitism, you know, discrimination against Jews and, and other minority groups was, was not the mainstream philosophy, not the majority of Americans' philosophy, but it was a legitimate philosophy. People like Henry Ford and Lindbergh, there was a famous radio talk show host named Father Coughlin who had a radio show that was broadcast into 30 million Americans' homes, and he would say good things about Mussolini, good things about Hitler. The philosophy of this group was considered a legitimate philosophy in America really until World War II started. The rally took place 80 years ago this month in February, just a few days before the Oscars are, that are about to happen. You might think that for a story that's 80 years old, it's just ancient history, it doesn't have anything to do with today. but we're seeing in America a rise of hate crimes. To me, the lesson of the film is that we are vulnerable. We are vulnerable to leaders who will stir us up against each other. We're vulnerable to leaders who take symbols of things that we love, the American flag and the national anthem, and use those to, to make us hate each other and hate groups of minorities or Muslims or African Americans or whatever. And I think that the film shows that we have to be vigilant about defending the values that we think are important, about defending tolerance and defending kindness and defending, um, you know, defending respect for, for different kinds of people in America.